All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to be continuing our review in the water resources and environmental engineering section uh, for the civil FE exam. So today we're going to be looking at pumps, have a few practice problems for you all, and I want to go ahead and get right into it. All right, so number one says, water is to be pumped at a flow rate of 0 0.03 meters cubed per second. Find the head loss due to flow of the pump. Ignore minor losses. All right, so I see uh, point A has, gives us elevation, and then it goes through the pump and up, shoots up. Um, they give us the length of the pipe shooting up. They give us the diameter of the pipe going up and they give us the F, which I believe is a friction factor, but don't quote me on that. And then they give us the elevation at point B, right? So let's take a look at this. So what information are we given? All right. Start with the given information. Will they give us the flow rate of the pump. They give us the pump length. Or the length of the pipe. Um, they also give us the diameter of the pipe. They give us I'm going to say the friction factor. That's what F stands for. And they give us the elevations at the water levels. The elevation of water levels okay so what are we trying to find well it says find the head loss due to flow head loss due to flow and we are not we're not going to take into account the minor losses because it says to ignore the minor losses. Right. Ignore minor losses. Okay. So what formulas do we need? Well, I'm going to search a head loss. Okay. HF the head loss okay so given the information see pressures here we're not given any pressures so i'm gonna keep going uh so it's a, this one says head loss due to flow all right so this is probably the area that we need to be in. Take a closer look. And we can see what information we're given. So HF is the hit loss due to flow. What is F? What is F? F is the friction factor, which I believed I said. Okay. D is the diameter of the pipe. We got that. Do we have L? L is the length over which the pressure drops. We have L, which is 300 meters. And then do we have V? No. Do we have G? Uh, G should just be gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second. All right, so 
looks like we're missing V. So we'll just write out the information that we're given. So we have, uh, so H if is equal to question mark. We have F here. We have L here. We also have D here. V is equal to question mark. We have uh, G, which is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, so the only thing we now need is a v we need V and H of F. And the main thing that we're solving for is head loss, right? So can we get V from the information that we're given? We also have, so we have Q, which is 0 0.03 meters cubed per second. And we have, uh, there's this formula, um, just important for you to know. Uh, that if you have flow and if you have an area, um, then you can find V. So it's the continuity equation. So as long as the flow is continuous, which it is being pumped, uh, Q is equal to A times V. So if I have, what is, what would A be? Well, A is the cross-sectional area of flow, right? So you got this, uh, we got this pipe, right? The cross-sectional area would be that section right there, right? They give us the diameter. We know that the flow is being shot up that way continuously. So we know that we can also use um, Q is equal to A times V to get our velocity. All right, so first solve for that. So I will just say Q is equal to A times V. Um, what is A? So a is equal to pi r squared, right? That's the area of this circle or the cross-sectional area. So what is r? Well, we, we want to make sure that we put everything in um, meters. So r is equal to D divided by two, right? Or a diameter divided by two. All right, so we'd say R is equal to 200 millimeters divided by two, which equals to 100 millimeters, or zero point one, all right? meters. Okay. So I know my R. So A is equal to pi times 0 0.1 pi R squared, right? So A is going to equal to 0 0.0314 meters squared. All right, so Q is equal to A times V now. So Q, which is 0 0.3 meters cubed divided by seconds is equal to 0 0.0314 meters squared. Do you see why? We want, we wanted our stuff in meters. It's going to give us a velocity. Um, once we divide in the correct 
units, right? Our can't our units are gonna cancel, right? Meters squared, meters cubed. This is gonna leave us with meters per second, all right? So we'll get for this one, V is equal to nine point five four nine meters per second. Okay, we have V now. So I can say that this is no longer a question mark. V is equal to 9.549 meters per second. Okay, so what is H of F? I know that head loss. We're gonna go back to our equation, H of F. H of F is equal to F L over D. I'm just pulling this equation. L over D V squared over two times G. Okay. So now we just plug and chug all of our information. in. So H of F is equal to L is 300 meters. All right, I forgot something. We're not, we're not starting with L, we're starting with F, right? So F is going to be 0 0.003 times, times my 300 meters divided by 0 0.2 meters. So we know that that's like my diameter, right? So did L over D times my V, which is my velocity, which is 9.549 meters per second. We're doing all that squared right divided by two times 9.8 meters per second squared all right and we get h of f is equal to 20.9 meters so our answer is going to be b So remember if you're given flow or if you're given an area and a velocity that's going through pipe, then you can get your Q, which may help you into solving uh, even more, especially for head loss. Like sometimes you need, most of the time you're gonna need V or they could ask you, you know, a few different ways. Maybe they make you solve for the length of the pipe and they give you all the other details, all right? But being able to substitute for variables and take the information they give you is, is very crucial. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning. So I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now I know this test is tough and as you're going through material, you may be saying, uh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks, and we went back to back 
day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just wanna make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm gonna take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not, uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one on one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do, um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one-on-one -on -one, and there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment. If you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So. Be sure to check out this next video 